Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. In this video, I am going to show you the next part of our upgrade series. So today we are going to start from here. So this is a prerequisite note that uh, we need to apply on our system as otherwise the variant on ETC will not display for S4HANA 2022. Okay, so this is the note we have to apply and there are some manual steps that also we have to do so you can go through this SAP note then we have to do the ATC and then the all subsequent steps so let's go to our system so I already applied this SAP note into my system this one you can see so you have to apply this then these are the manual step you have to call this transaction then utilities import check variants so that is what you have to do now back to our system go to ATC transaction then click on scheduled runs create and ATC check or whatever you want to give click confirm the name here from the check variant you need to select the 2022 SAP readiness this one we need to select here on the packages I'm giving star on the modified also I'm giving star save it Okay friends, so click yes here and select this, click on schedule series. So we have to schedule, let's schedule it in background. Then okay, immediate and save it. So the job is scheduled now. Let's see. This one. Here you can see that it is active. So we need to wait for it guys. Once that is complete then our custom code check will be ready and then we need to share it with our ABAP team okay meanwhile I'm going to do other steps so the next one is we need to see the clear object and inactive object in our DV02 so go to DV02 here all seems fine to me okay all the indexes missing object missing in the database then inconsistent object other check that seems fine we do not have that then the next one is SPDD and SPAW let's go through that also
okay so seems good we have clear SPDD now check the spa also okay so we have these five SAP nodes we have to give them to our ABAP team and they will take care of this okay so that we are going to our ABAP team and inactive object in our system so check that also go to a CAT inactive object put star here and then search nothing we do not have any inactive objects so that is also good inconsistent table from SE14 go to extras invalid template table blank that is good then check for field updates remove this date execute blank that is also good now we need to see SMQ1, Q2 and triggers, okay. Don't have an issue with this, it's clear. That is also good. And let's check the triggers guys. Go to db02 and SQL editor. So these are the trigger. Here we need to see that uh, do we have any trigger in our schema that is SOP HANA DB. So all these triggers are either in sys security or sys statistics so that is not an issue with us we can ignore them okay here you can see that our schema is SAP HANA DB okay so here you can see so we can ignore them so with all these step we are good we are just waiting for the our check result then we will share it with the ABAP so that we already checked if we have any issue with the inactive object then we need to ask the ABAP team to take care of this and same with the SPAW I'm marking them as done 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 okay, so this is what we are waiting for let's see so guys it is going to take some time
so here you can see the status of that so it is finished okay run series this we have executed this so let's see the result Okay friends, so we checked for G star and Y star packages and here you can see all object passed the check successfully. So we do not have anything because this is a development system. Okay, uh, you can say demo system and nothing has been done from this or you can assume that this is a just fresh system. Okay, so about team also check this, this result. Okay, if they find any issue, then they can work on it. So our next is let's mark it done.